of Felech and Hanukkah, Chag, Hanukkah, Sameach, Lichti, Hanukkah, whatever it is you use to greet someone else in Hanukkah, Happy Hanukkah. And I want to share with you a very, very quick yet fascinating idea that came across my mind this evening. So we go to light the candles, and the candles burn, and we're singing, we make the brachas, and we know the story of Hanukkah. There's a miracle of the oil, there's a miracle of the war, no chiddush, no, no, no novelty, no surprises over here. But yet, we see by Hemba's manazet, just as they fought a war, just as Hashem did miracles for them in their days, so too we shall see the same thing in our days. We shall continue to fight the fight, and we shall continue to see the miracles that Hashem sent us our way. But maybe, just maybe, we're missing on how did the Jews, the Maccabees, actually fight the good fight. And the reason why I'm making this, this idea or connection is as follows. You look at a menorah. You look at the oil candles, oil with the floating wicks, wherever you have your menorah. Chanukiah, whatever it is. Just as the last flame dances or flickers on that wick, it actually burns a little bit brighter than it did the entire time it was lit. Those flashes, those sparks of light, that's the fight that the Maccabees fought. That's the war to which they waged against the Greeks. How so? The Maccabees, the Jews, they didn't have a chance to say, oh, you know what, we can retreat today. No, their backs were up against the wall, day in, day out. It was a fight to the finish. It was like the World Cup Finals with every penalty kick. It was now or never. If they don't do anything about it now, there's not going to be a tomorrow. And I think the Maccabees, the story of their survival and their prevalence is trying to teach us something as well. How do we fight today? Do we actually give it our all? Do we say, yeah, maybe I'll do it tomorrow. I'll do it a little bit later. You know what? I, I put in 20% today. I'll do another 20% tomorrow. Maybe that's okay for some. But as a collective whole, how are we actually fighting the fight? And I think that's the message of Hanukkah. Bayamim ahem bazman hazeh. What is the message that we're going to take out? What's going to be our spark that we're going to flicker so bright against the backdrop of darkness? What is going to be our ray of light to the world? And with that, Chanukah Sameach.